This is Jimi Hendrix, and this is Saint's Peace. Hello, brothers and sisters and friends. This is Jimmy here. Welcome to uh, Saints Peace. Today, we're going to be talking about a sensitive subject. This is episode four. Um, single adult issues. And to tell you the truth, we're not going to we're not going to categorize them into age groups and stuff like that because. The motto of the James Hendrick empowerment levels is, is no, no labels. I just feel like labels and stereotypes just, just really limit things. I know why the church does what it does, though. But here's the issue. Um, single such as myself... We love the church. We love what it stands for as far as families. But sometimes we don't know exactly where we belong in the church. Um, each of us have um, unique issues. Some of us come from dysfunctional families and the like. And I have to say, as a person that's single... I have a heart for those that, that, that have that. I once was married, and my marriage sadly ended. But it was my marriage that 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 broke that broke that led me to join the church. So in many ways, it's it's a blessing. But I have to be honest with you: there are times when I'm going through hard times. Um, the church emphasis on family, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, because I believe in traditional family values. But I think it would behoove church leaders, no matter where they are, if they got singles in their ward. It doesn't matter how many. Reach out to them. See what you can do. Because we all have our pains and our issues. Now, I'm not saying that it's something that's kind of like a, a whining thing. But, well, let's face it. We all have our issues. So here's what we do. This is where the scriptures, you know... Be applied to scriptures uh, thing. We have to set the captives free. Okay. Because here's what's going on. Many of us feel kept, feel led captives to sometimes I feel like Satan's lies that we don't belong. That we don't belong anywhere. And Especially when the priesthood, 
we in the priesthood should know. The ones that have priesthood keys over singles. Um, namely, particularly the Elder Quorum and for the women of the Relief Society. Working, you know, in consultation with the bishop to find ways to help these singles. Help them grow. Because you need that. Okay. Saints peace. I assemble it so that we know that we as Latter-day Saints, we can be people that accept peace offerings. But to know where peace comes from, let me tell you something, the world doesn't give peace. If it, if it does, it's, it's not an easy peace. So, our peace is in, is in Christ. I've been going through some of my own challenges in my life. And a few days ago, I was in deep meditation with close to the Lord. And I felt like that there were ministry angels around me. And of course, I get that um, through my ironic priesthood. And I guess I need to, ex even though I also have the Melchizedek priesthood, I need to exercise the ironic sometimes as well. So, those are the things. Single adults, you know, we have issues. But. <laughs> Instead of shuffling off, saying, you know, why ain't you married? Because some of us, like myself, is disabled. I know there's limited uh, options. So, um, the best thing I think we can do is to look for ways to help them along. To feel that they're part, part of the church. That the church is their family. We need to keep them, help them keep their their testimony strengthened. Because of the way this world is. Okay. So here we go. <clears throat> and I hope you've enjoyed this. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of Saints Peace. Until next time. Remember who you are. Uh, read your scriptures daily and please, please, please preach the gospel. God bless you. Remember this from the bottom of my heart. Jenny loves you. I really, really love you. God bless you and have a blessed day.